I'm just going to leave this here for a minute and let you notice what this photo means to you. Whatever you feel. What happens to your body? Do you feel a softening, an opening? Embody it. Feel it from the tips of your toes up to the top of your head. Did you notice how your thoughts and worries went away? You just embodied love. Now, for contrast, I invite you to think about something that's worrying or troubling you, something that you're anxious or fearful about. What happens to your body? Can you feel a slight contraction all over, how, how your neck shortens and your gut gets tight? This is the physical expression of fear, whether it's annoyance from a buzzing mosquito or playing a wrong note or the terror of a global pandemic, our brains and bodies react the same. These are all different degrees of fear, but have the same whole body pattern of contraction. Can you feel how everything just kind of pulls in and up and off the ground like, like you're walking on ice? That, my friends, that contraction is the opposite of love. Most of us, I believe, would prefer to live in love, not fear. So let me ask you, how long does it take to transform yourself from that state of fear to a state of love? Think of someone you adore. Breathe now. Three, two, one. You can do it. I began to get curious about this type of transformation when I found the honeymoon effect, the science of creating heaven on earth by one of my favorite scientists, Bruce Lipton. He delves into the science of being in love. It was a game changer for me, learning that the love hormones had such a tremendous positive effect on my body and that I could change my state at any time. I mean, I knew what love was, but I didn't really understand what it meant to embody it. But in less than a minute, I could transform from an ordinary going about the world state to a complete embodiment of love. So of course, I got curious about how could I explore it as a musician. Amazingly, I discovered that by fully embodying a state of love, I could breathe better and play better. My whole body just worked better. And then I began to bring it into my teaching. My work is helping injured musicians. And in this work, I have watched hundreds of musicians recover from the contracted state of pain, fear, and anxiety, and learning to play freely again. I learned about love from a most unexpected source, a dear friend who experienced a horrific tragedy. She lost her two young children to gun violence, shot by their father, who then turned the gun on himself. How could anybody recover from that? Yet this woman not only found a way to survive, but now embodies more love than almost anyone I have ever met. How could I not honor her journey? So it has been my practice in this pandemic, this time of stress, illness, anxiety, the unknown, and oh yes, grief, unbearable grief. It has been my practice to cultivate the state of love as much as possible. I believe it is the best thing I can do to keep myself healthy. Because we know stress hormones attack the immune system, right? But we don't often acknowledge how the love hormones boost our immunity. We've all had terrible times this year and, and we long for so much. And some of us are completely alone with no pets and no one to touch or hug. 
But we have the power at the drop of a hat to experience love and its accompanying benefits. The practice is simple and I invite you to try it. All I have to do is think about somebody, something or some place that I love and adore and my brain changes. The love chemicals start flowing. My body relaxes and I feel more grounded, more whole, more at peace. It's a practice I can do a hundred times a day. And so my friends, when next I play for you in this space, I will be embodying our love.